One of the awesome things about this song is the attention to detail, which shows especially in the bass line. Now in most songs, even ones that are really good, the bass line doesn't get much attention. Oftentimes the bass line of a song is just half notes or whole notes, but the person who wrote this song put a lot of time into writing a complex bass line. Most of the time in the verse, the bass line mirrors the electric guitar riff, but it occasionally deviates a bit and adds a few extra notes. The bass line gets particularly crazy during the chorus, however. This is more of a weird thing than an inherently good thing, but this song has some pretty unusual key changes. The verse is an A major, and that's a nice key, everything's fine, it's, it's good, we're good. The chord progression in the verse is a little unusual though. The last line has an E major chord and an F7 chord. The F7 chord is dissonant and jazzy, and it sounds pretty good going back to A. The second time the verse plays, however, that weird F7 chord acts as a transition to the next section, which is in G major instead of A. The chorus was in D major, which is a fifth up from G major. The five chord creates a lot of tension, since it feels a lot like it wants to go back to the one chord. Here's an example of that. Yep, my example is Gangnam Style. Here's the tonic, or the one chord. It's the key the song is in. And here's a really long build up. The song creates energy in this section by sitting on the five chord. That's it. That's what makes the song build up energy. And I guess there's more drums and stuff too, but it's it's mostly the five chord. Modulations! Yay! All in all, this is a really impressive song. Also, it's video game music. Milk Can is a fictional band featured in the video game Um Jam Ralami, which is a rhythm game released for the PlayStation in 1999. It's the sequel to Parappa the Rapper, and it's sort of like a really early guitar hero. In this game, a singer sings a melody, and at the same time, a cursor scrolls through a series of buttons to tell you what you have to play. Then you have to repeat that line on the guitar in sort of a Simon Says manner. All of the songs are also levels in this game. The way each song is written is level design. This is why the melody gets really complex in the second verse. That way, the level gets harder as it goes on. Otherwise, you would just be playing the same thing twice, and that would be boring. Despite the fact that Make It Sweet is video game music, it works as a standalone album. You can even pretend that the music is from an actual album by a real-life band and enjoy it that way. It's one thing to make good video game music, but it's another to also make it good standalone music. So yeah, that's why I got to move with such a good song. Thank you.